Um, hey everyone, okay, um, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, a little while, um, so I figured I'd make one. By the way, I, I, uh, replaced my light bulbs, so the lighting is normal in my bedroom again. Um, yeah, so, okay, I guess I want to first talk about, um, I did the math, and all my, took all my measurements, and everything, um, and compared them to the approximate measurements that I was, um, before I had lap band, and, um, like, let's see, I started out at 297.5 pounds, like, that was the morning of surgery, like, they weighed me, and then they got me on the bed, and, um, then they gave me all the shots and all that and everything, but that was when my starting weight of that morning, as of that morning, um, now my highest recorded weight, um, from a doctor's visit was, has been 302 pounds, but as of surgery, it was 297.5, um, I just weighed this morning, um, and I am 227 pounds, so I've lost 70.5 pounds. M well, I don't know if there's a point anything to that, because my scale isn't digital, so I don't know about the point five. So basically, I've lost 70 pounds, let's just put it that way. Um, my starting BMI, body mass index, if you weren't aware, hopefully you were, um, was 46.5. I believe that is severely obese. Um, maybe morbidly obese. I, it's really, really high, basically. Um, my current BMI is, or at least it was as of the 5th, um, is 36.0. So I've lost 10.5 points from my BMI. Like, I'm this far away from just being overweight and not obese. Um, like, I know people are probably gonna, if they see this, they're gonna bash me and tell me how fat I am. Um, but that's not the point. The point is, I did something about how fat I was, and I'm not that fat anymore. Um, and if you don't care and still want to pick on me, that's your problem, not mine. Um, I'm happy with what I've accomplished. Um, I'm not going to go into, um, all the details of all the inches that I've lost. Um, I've lost a total of 32.5 inches all over my body, you know, that's bicep, forearm, wrist, neck, thighs, chest, waist, hips, all that. Um, let's see, I started, I started out as a size 24 on bottom. My top size, my shirt size was, um, about a 3X or an XXL. Um, I wore approximately a 3X belt, um, currently I'm a size 16, I wear about an extra large top, and, which I know, I know what you're thinking, that hasn't changed much, and, um, I'll tell you why, um, I have a very large chest, not gonna lie to you, <laughs> I know you haven't really seen it, um, and I don't plan on showing you, but, um, basically my chest is huge, and unlike a lot of women, when they have weight loss surgery, their chest shrinks, like, significantly. Well, my chest has only shrunk by, like, two inches, and so, um, that's why I haven't lost, like, hardly anything in shirt size-wise. I could probably do a large in some clothes, um, but I'm a little scared to try it on, like, I don't even remember the last time I was a size large in a shirt, so it's a little intimidating, to be honest. Um, and as far as my belt size, I can now wear a regular extra large, and that's, I even have a regular extra large from Hot Topic, and it fits. And, um, now it doesn't fit, like, on the tightest setting, but it fits. And, um, I know Hot Topic tends to run a little small, like, especially in shirts. Um, like, I have a Hello Kitty shirt from there, and it's, it's, I think it's like a Junior's 3X, and it's small, and, um, 
it's all, it's really short too. Like I have a, I'll be honest, I haven't like an extra long torso, and um, so a lot of shirts, if they're cut remotely shorter than a normal shirt, they're gonna be too short for me. Um, I'm actually trying to sell um, a Lane Bryant shirt that is. Um, uh, it's a tw size 22, 24, so one, it doesn't fit, and two, even when it did fit, um, it was way too short for me, like, you could almost see belly, and it was not attractive, so I just never wore it, um, sorry, if you hear, if you're hearing a beeping, it's, uh, hold on, I should probably actually just go turn the beeping off, um, or at least really low. Okay, um, sorry, that's this w website. It's called camoconnect.com, and it's for, um, the significant others of military personnel. Um, because if you, if you saw my last video, I think I mentioned it in my last video, um, I'm currently dating one of my very good friends, uh, Tommy, and he... A couple years ago, he joined the army, so I'm an army girlfriend. Um, I got this really cute bracelet. It's, um, I guess it's a military boot band, like something off a boot, and, um, the charm, I don't know if you can see that, but it says I miss you, so I can always be thinking about him, because, um, up until I think this week, he has been deployed to Afghanistan. Um, now mind you, we've only been dating for two months, um, but I, sorry, there's a smudge on my glasses and it's kind of driving me nuts. Um, I, since I've been his friend for nine years, um, and the entire time that he's been in the army, I've been, I've technically been through all three deployments with him, even though we weren't dating, um. I would basically, um, send him a message on Yahoo Messenger and, like, are you still alive? And he would message me back and basically be like, it's gonna take a lot more than being in Afghanistan to kill me. He's like, I love myself too much, and, well, it's true. He does love himself a lot. So, um, I think the only person he loved more than himself was his grandma. And she's dead now. Which made me mad, because, like, I loved his grandma when she was still alive, and, um, she was really sweet, and he didn't tell me when she died, like, he told me after the funeral, and I would have wanted to be there had I known. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, I'm doing really well in my, um, English class, I, um, have an A in there, I've only failed one quiz, and that was because I misread the syllabus, and, well, the calendar, the course calendar, and, um, didn't read the correct chapter, um, of this book that we had to read, um, I had, I'd read everything we had been assigned up to that point, and, um, I didn't realize he had assigned the fourth chapter, and, um, I assumed we were going in order that the book went, and so, um, I thought we were on chapter two, which I had read, didn't realize he had assigned chapter four, hadn't read it, um, I thought we were having a quiz over the other book, and I failed that quiz, um, well, not that quiz, but the quiz that I misunderstood, and so, but I will say that I have read the chapter that I failed the quiz over, in the last chapter that, that we're currently working on, um, it's a synthesis paper, can't really say that, that sounds terrible, sounds like I have lisp, and, um, but yeah, that, that chapter was 73 pages. Now, mind you, <clears throat> the book is a smaller book, but, um, 
So the pages are pretty small, but still 73 pages. That It was basically like 30 regular size pages. Or probably like legal size paper pages. I don't know. It was long. It was really long. And it was just kind of rambling. And I was just like, come on, just give me the information and shut up. Um, which is also how I feel about the other book. Um, it's called Generation Me. It's actually a really insightful book about the current generation, um, which goes from 1970 to 2000. Um, it's called, she's, she's labeled it Generation Me, um, being that we're basically selfish. And, um, she rambles a lot. I mean, it's, it's, I'd recommend the book, honestly, but a lot of, there's, I've, there's been a couple times I've found myself just being like, get to the point, lady, like, oh, or I'm like, okay, you already made the point, now let's move on, you've also made the point, like, five times now, so let's move on, um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to my parents' house for spring break, and while I'm there, we're gonna go to Fredericksburg, which I'm really excited about, because, like, on the way to and from and in Fredericksburg, they have some really good wineries, so basically I'm going to get grape wasted, which means drunk on wine, in case you weren't sure. Alright, well, I'm done for now.